quick and to the point. WDEN News 12 at 11, live in HD, starts now. Good evening on this cold, chilly Saturday evening. I'm James Mahon. With a deadline looming for the Affordable Health Care Act, City Councilman Chris Anderson is facing his own ultimatum. It's more than just putting on a green shirt and some shamrock earrings, right James? I didn't even do that. I feel bad. Oh, <laughs> I didn't do that. I'll give you my shamrock earrings when we're done. How about that? I don't know if I could pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> so Chattanooga's Kelsey Connections were on show for St. Patrick's Day over the weekend, but they're also on show on Tuesday today. You're here with us tonight to talk about the addictions that we all do have uh, to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that kind of thing. How bad can it really get, Chloe? Well, the addiction thing is something that I struggle with. How to best take advantage of your barbecue. And tonight he's preparing salmon and vegetables, so take Ooh. a look. You know, those women really are heroes. In entertainment news, Omar Sharif, the Egyptian-born star of Lawrence of Arabia and Dr. Shivago, has died. His agent says Sharif died today from a heart attack in Cairo. It's going to be a great night for a game, but maybe a little hot. I think those News 12 fans for News 12 night, yeah, they're going to be very popular tonight. It does tonight. look lovely outside, though. It, it really does. does. It does. And now we're going to take a look back. We're going to take a look back at the best of life with Luther. The news, the Confederate flag will be removed from its perch outside the South Carolina State Capitol Friday morning. Lawmakers debated for almost almost 13 hours before passing a bill to bring down the battle flag. Stacey Cohen reports. Now, Apple is racing iOS 9 beta into the wild and Facebook gives you more control of the newsfeed. Bridget Carey has more in tonight's CNET update. Honorary Chattahooligan, you know, very excited, right? I mean, we're in the playoffs. We are against Nashville and they've already beaten them. So all I can do is go out and repeat what they did last week exactly. one more time. That's right. So. But Easy peasy, all right? Walk in the park. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you next week. Mm. Lots of new tech everywhere, huh? Almost too techy though, right? You were talking about something. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that um, I was in a, a cafe a few months back and a child went up to a TV and tried to swipe it <laughs> to change the channel. So if you're at home when you're trying to swipe the TV to get rid of us, it's Doesn't not going to work. Doesn't work, no. <laughs> James, do you know the three amigos of summer? I do not know what that means. He you don't know? Heat, haze, and humidity. That's the three amigos of summer. Look at that. We I taught know. we taught our Irish Education. Tonight. Always learning. There always you go. Learning. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Extension has not been ruled out. We could see a major shakeup of Tennessee's nearly 60-year-old annexation laws soon. In a News 12 update, the Senate passed a bill yesterday allowing you to vote on whether or not you want to be annexed. But the bill still has to pass the House next week. Because those in Chattanooga from that movement and those activists are now seen as kind of experts in that field um, because they've been at it consistently for so long. Um, and it just goes to show that there's people who are suffering with a lot of foreclosures. There's a lot of bureaucracy and messing going on. I put a little bit of English translation beside them just to add to the confusion so you don't even know which one was which, but Red Bank remains the same. Folks, Red Bank is the same in Gaelic or in English. The man charged with the murder of a security guard at a Dalton bar remains behind bars. According to the Dalton Daily Citizen, 20-year-old Orlando Ramirez had his bond here and continued until August. Ramirez is charged with murder and two counts of aggravated assault in the slaying of Bruno Rodriguez. Detectives say Ramirez shot and killed Rodriguez because guards refused to let him inside the bar because of his age. Megan O'Dea, Chloe Morris, thank you very much for your time. So folks, if you are heading to bed tonight, do take extra care, turn the phones off. Chattanooga police investigate the city's latest homicide. It happened late Monday night in the 2200 block of Wheeler Avenue. Officers found a man dead inside his vehicle. He had at least one gunshot wound. Police do not have any suspect information. If you know anything about this crime, call Chattanooga Police. In Athens, police nab quite a few burglars who they say are teenage girls. The mother of a juvenile called police Tuesday to say her daughter may have broken into a beauty salon. I think the building could have been um, an integral part of a Southside revolution. But where it's going now, you're going to bring, you're going to put these guys in an environment where they can throw as many parties and as many events as they want and bring in as many people as they can. They're amazing at social and digital media. They're amazing at getting their brand and their name out there all across the South. And you're putting them right in the heart where they can have, they can be a fulcrum.